Hello and welcome to Cinema Express. My name is Ram Venkat Sekar. Today we have with us Mr. Srinivas Mohan, whose work, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure you must have seen his work in a lot of blockbuster films over the, uh, over the past few years. And right now, today we'll be talking to him about this tiny little film called RRR. Uh, hello, sir. How are you? Yeah, good. good. How are you? I'm good as well. So uh, it's been exactly one week since this tiny uh, independent small scale film called Triple R released. Uh, how has the past one week been? Like, has your phone been ringing nonstop? How has it been? Yeah, it's uh, after working almost three and a half years. It hard work when whatever we everybody all together what the crew which we did. Mm. So uh, that paid off, I guess. So people are enjoying and especially uh, uh, not only uh, Andhra and Tamil and Tel- uh, like a, uh, all the South India, even North India. And apart from that, mm. I'm seeing a lot of response from the foreigners. Mm. So that is a one which uh, uh, it's really, really. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So one of the thing initial, like uh, uh, one response is like uh, uh, his friend took him for the night show. and then, Yeah. Uh, he has seen the uh, film and then uh, uh, after seeing the film uh, mm. late night he kicked up so much so after going home it's like a, uh, he has to do the cycling to reduce all this uh, uh, <laughs> energy what he got so wow. that is he's saying that it's uh, uh, I don't know how much power that uh, mm. this uh, Sar got this into the uh, film that yeah. makes me like which energy, energy take and uh, this is a, that is the power of cinema and making uh, how the uh, uh, craft, all the crafts together and mm. bring that uh, uh, output. So that, that kind of response, yes, it's very happy that uh, people are receiving uh, extremely well. Uh, at what point did you get involved in Triple R, sir? Were you there from the scripting stage or was it during the pre-production? When did you come into the project? After finishing the script. Hmm. So that's where the, uh, after finishing the script, uh, hmm. so uh, then he narrated me the script when I, I think I finished the 2.0 that ending. Hmm. So the, and uh, uh, so then uh, he, when he narrated, he the director mentioned me that uh, uh, it's like, hey, this is a... Um, totally emotional film there mm. should not be visible there is no visual like a uh, vfx should be invisible mm. so that not only visual effects any craft it's like going to support to get the emotions emotion because mm. we have a, yeah because we have two big uh, 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 very uh, uh, excellent artists but uh, mm. especially Tarek uh, um, mm. so uh, it's whole film about these two uh, uh, characters mm. and uh, uh, they are they are like a heroes and villain and uh, uh, heroine and everything. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. A, uh, that mm. is a, one of the main uh, thing yeah. that she meant. So mm. uh, for from that particular from that time uh, that is a just after finishing the script. So mm. I was there till end of the uh, like final print checking and delivery time. It's almost like uh, uh, three and a half years because of the in-between pandemic. Uh, This is the entire uh, uh, period which... uh, uh, So challenging of that particular thing is like in this particular film is like to make everything invisible. Like Mm. individual, whatever you should... That is one of the biggest challenge uh, 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 for me. So we should not be visible as a... uh, So everything should be invisible and uh, we should support the emotions so either action or the uh, any performance, whatever we mm. have, so we should coating and gelling with that. So mm. that is what uh, is a challenge for me as a visual effects supervisor to blend in and uh, invisible. So when you read the scripts, did you have particular moments that you said, okay, this is where VFX is going to come into play. This is where VFX is, uh, will be more prominent. Did you make any uh, points when you read the script? Yeah, this is not like, a, uh, he, he, it's not a script, uh, or written script for me. It's like he narrates. Okay. Nar- so okay. He narrated, okay. narrated three, three and a half hours that. It's like a, one of the best narrator. What 
I see is like he, his narration is like so much uh, 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 like uh, whatever you saw in the film now it's like uh, I can say almost it's like we are almost there when he mm. narrated that feel is there exactly now in the film that is a, mm. one of the major uh, uh, strength when he, he visualizes he knows nice. everything mm. whatever is going to be mm. in the final film. so uh, then after he told me that of course my work is from that is a that point so what are the sequences we have and mm. in the each sequence what is the things which we, or like a i'll call it as a visual effects breakdown vfx breakdown okay. for the mm. yes. so mm. like a sequence wise and then a type of uh, uh, work sometimes it's a, a simple work like a set extension like mm. uh, if you see that, uh, uh, we call as a t junction where uh, the flogging scene happens now that in front of the gate and then uh, in front of the in the interval sequence there is a tarak flogging right uh, yeah 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 uh, that, that uh. entire area and then initially starts with the mechanic uh, uh, after he become uh, so that mechanic shed and the, uh. that in front of the, that is the we yeah. put yeah, that we put a set okay. so uh, so from uh, that is a just uh, we put as a small place where hmm. the junction is there where the interaction and the left side right side and this side all the other sides we extended that that is okay. what we call a set extension part that is okay. the simplest part in the whole film so okay. uh, and then like that each sequence like if you say all the both introductions that is a, a charan uh, introduction and tarak introduction uh, and then again interval sequence and the bridge in between the bridge, bridge part that we going uh, yeah, and then yeah. into- and then after that we have a again kumaram bima that uh, uh, flogging uh, yeah. song uh. then uh, uh, the crowd were multiplication of the crowd and extension of the set and, uh, mm. so then after that again uh, we have uh, 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 climax pre climax pre climax where they both on the shoulders so that sequence and uh, then right, that, right. that climax so these are the all the all the sequences has the visual effects i think a lot of people uh, uh, when i'm seeing in the theaters a lot of people didn't notice that how many vfx yeah uh, yeah they have uh, that is one of the best compliment you can receive you know uh, yeah, i can say that it's like uh, 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 that is one good thing um, so but actually we have a lot of vfx like i uh, as i mentioned earlier it's like we have around uh, 2800 shots it's like almost yeah. like eight percent of the 80 percent of the sh- uh, film has vfx so but it still all blends in uh, um, yeah so this breakdown is a which i start first which are the complex ones and then the complex ones who are the uh, good mm. talent to execute so because we need to find out and we need to speak to them and uh, uh, just uh, uh, get the things and that is for the actual execution post production mm-hmm. but for the shooting we need to do a lot of uh, pre production that mm-hmm. pre production is the immediate uh, uh, after the script immediate task is the doing the pre production mm-hmm. so the pre production thing we have a lot of tasks like a pre visualization and pre-vis- then uh, uh. yeah pre visit it's called pre visit where uh, 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 all the things whatever director has in mind mm-hmm. that we will call it as a stages like a uh, one is a first whatever he has in mind he will try to explain uh, roughly with the some references and some mm. toys he use the if you see for, uh, for example the bridge episode so mm. he narrated the little bit of uh, uh, like uh, uh, arrangement of the uh, some kind of a lego kind of toys mm. and mm-hmm. then explain that actually how this entire thing happens then based on that we started the uh, like a, how much bridge height how it okay. should be because when they jump it, the height should be matching because when they jump they need to come and join so that mm. length and in physics should be correct yeah 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 have a proper height and then uh, 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 all of those things we uh, finalized and then after that we designed the bridge because mm. that bridge is that height pillars and that kind of architecture we took the so the, uh, the whole bridge is cgi generated yeah, in whole bridge is CGI. whole, whole bridge. Bridge. Okay. Yeah, okay. All angles, all wide angles. Oh, wow. Wow. There is no uh, bridge, bridge at all. Water. So, yeah, water. We have one small, uh, uh, like a, I think around twenty uh, feet uh, uh, width of. Uh, uh, wow. 20, I think twenty-five feet kind of. Huh. Uh, uh, 
yeah 25 feet by 40 feet with uh, one width pond and, width. Width. Uh-huh. Yeah. and then two pillars next to that only half pillars and then to get the bridge shadow so we had a blue color uh, uh, wow. uh, bridge kind of slab uh, bridge, slab slab kind of thing which colored with the uh, blue because we need to get the top we have to you have to erase it uh, later yeah mm-hmm. we need to replace with the uh, actual mm-hmm. bridge so this mm-hmm. is the only thing. and then we had a uh, min, uh, miniature uh, uh, one yeah train uh, and one small bridge portion miniature okay. uh, some portion especially blasting some small portion of the where the wow. train falls down ah. so that i think four shots we use the uh, uh, miniature miniature blasting and apart from that it entire thing even the train coming and actual train the bogies and everything where the catch uh, oil leaks and it catches mm. the fire the thing is cg full cg wow yeah. so the the shot where we see the train from side angle yeah. it's a cgi train that we are seeing but the blast yeah wow okay wow. only blast part alone it's like a miniature shots miniature we had a blast when it's a blast happening comes down so that is a miniature and then uh, uh, especially the first opening shot when uh, mm. uh, charan chases uh, the uh, lachu guy, and uh, the, uh, uh, the guy and he comes into that and from there there is a zoom shot first time establishment uh. shot it comes out and wider 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 we, we see, see a, lo- a lot of people ha huh? yeah. so that entire thing is cg the only the uh, small portion where the i told you another for uh, 40 by 20 uh, water uh, feed, water uh, body, and then next to that some uh, around uh, uh, around 400 500 people that uh, uh, yeah first the, time where we see the bridge and uh, the white shot that, yeah. Yeah. only that portion is separate and mm-hmm. we took up the plate for that and then we did the entire thing why what you see the entire bridge surrounding wow at that we took a reference from the rajmandri so we went to rajmandri there is a bridge there so bridge in godavari ha huh? yeah godavari uh, so uh-huh. uh, drone footage and we had a lot of reference photos there and we created that rajmandri bridge there that as a main the entire reference what you see is a rajmandri godavari bridge so is you're basically um, creating uh, everything from a green screen when you shoot there there's wow yeah, i didn't know this yes. this is fascinating that white shot when when it afterwards it cuts to ntr who is uh, below the bridge oh my god the whole city was created in cgi the city was created in cgi and we have uh, there is a one shot where uh, tarak uh, charan from there till down comes down to the tarak so mm. we have a support, yeah yeah. Uh, yeah charan actually he's standing on the truck So oh truck, uh, okay a small uh, in front of him there is a one uh, bridge small portion of the yeah. piece ah. so he so when he lays his point. hands on mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. there's that that for the interaction from there we tilt uh, we move the camera down cut then after that again we have that pillar uh, where the water body that where that kid comes and uh, ask so uh, 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 you know that portion we have a set small set one pillar and what water body but the transition from there to coming here that entire thing is cg so uh, yeah so that is a yeah, that was shot in a, i assume that was shot in a different location this was shot in a different location yeah it's in the uh, separate places separate places means same area but we had a separate because truck anywhere i can shoot it's like i just uh, put one uh. that and the bridge on top of the bridge where they take the uh, like a rope and the, on the horse and everything uh-huh. that is we have a small road there is a norm tar road and then uh-huh. the left side right side we have a small parapet walls that a bridge has mm. that uh, so that mm-hmm. really that's that is a matter of i think uh, we have around the uh, uh, 40 feet width of the road with the, uh-huh. that side that's uh-huh. it so left side right side all the surroundings we have a blue screen so we shot entire action on top of that road and then uh-huh. when the wider whatever we are seeing it's everything we extended that uh, the we created the bridge so it's actually on the road it happens on the road so so when you tell me that there are 2800 shots uh, of vfx in the film do you get an estimate of the number of shots during the previous uh, itself main sequence yes so main sequence is definitely we we should we do the previous to actually execute that entire sequence Uh, how we want it so mm-hmm. what happened previsualization helps us to uh, uh, 
like uh, on location is very expensive we cannot take any decisions we cannot change anything okay. so because the pre shot we need to do a lot of preparation work so the previous help us to make the entire all the creative decisions earlier so wow. in the story part and so if you see the tarak uh, uh, first introduction means so, tiger uh, uh, tiger sequence in the tiger sequence uh, that is a one of the first previews which we did so okay. uh, yeah so in the tiger it's like a, uh, we use the uh, unreal engine one new engine game engine it is there so there mm. we have a uh, almost little bit of photorealistic kind of uh, uh, trees and environment we get so mm. we did the tarak uh, animation and the tiger animation it's mm. done by one of the friend uh, called john he's from this mm. he did the previous event so that after that the previous is like a, we played the previous with the for the few people and they were like a uh, it looks like almost like a sh- final output because that it has a very good photorealistic yeah. uh-huh. so except the tarak and the real uh, the tiger it looks like all the environment looks very uh, straight away it's, we can use that kind of you know, that kind of feel uh-huh. we, we were so that gives the environment feel everybody like what we are going to shoot and how we need to shoot what is the angles like in the when we are doing previews we do lot of variations multiple mm. options like uh, for each shot uh, sendils are is like uh, okay i need uh, mm. two two or three variations of the camera movements mm. and then editing side they will request extra things and the director will uh, see that no i want one close up here and I, i want that action should be the, the speed of the tiger should be this much so that chase and everything we have a lot of options and finally we uh, uh, finalize the what all the uh, all the options which is the best and then we edit and we do the music for the uh, uh, entire sequence mm. and then we lock okay this is what instead of a script we have the proper actual mm. animated mm. Uh, mm. sequence that is called the previous so then after that then execution that's a simple straight away execution so execution time of course we have a lot of difficulties so mm. that is a one by one we get the stays and uh, um, in the interval sequence we have a very unique uh, uh, scenario where the, mm. all the animals comes in yeah. and animal interaction yeah. so uh, that is one of the toughest thing obviously to execute for every department mm. even especially for me when the animals are involved uh, director has uh, mentioned one thing uh, uh, in the beginning of the film i have seen a lot of films uh, mm. even in hollywood lot of films where the mm. live action involved mm. with the animals mm. so those kind of a uh, the speed is somehow it's not uh, working out for me mm-hmm. so that's what he mentioned so then uh, he, he told that how we will solve this so uh, basically the what he mentioned the speed is like uh, in the live action if we are adding the cg animal Mm-hmm. so cameraman has to imagine like suppose if you see the one tiger is running from here to there so mm-hmm. cameraman has to imagine that speed of the animal and he follows that yeah. so after he finished the camera movement then we take that and in the cgi we add the uh, tiger mm-hmm. but uh, normally we never see the animals moving very fast in the close like we see the far away with the some videos they won't be having any reference how fast mm-hmm. they are running. Mm. but when it's actually in our uh, scenario we very rarely see the actual animals moving that much uh, mm. fresh and energy yeah yeah so, uh, most of the time uh, the dop or whoever we are involved moving the camera when shooting that speed is not matching so then it will be like a slow so mm. they will be like if, if the uh, cameraman uh moves, moves the camera, uh, slow. camera slow it will slow it then the ah. after we animate the ca- after we animate the character it looks mm. slow on this so mm. you cannot impact the speed mm. so that is what we meant by like we need to uh, uh, solve this so then uh, we what uh, we did is like we did the entire all the characters uh, uh, animals animation mm. earlier of the before uh, going into the actual shoot sure. with the proper sure. animation so then we took that into the uh, so we have a clear picture of how much speed it's going to be mm-hmm. what the mm-hmm. characters and how they have to react all that is there but while shooting we cannot shoot it uh, 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 because that animal speed has to be visible to the cameraman to move 
right. even for artists to see that how fast they are moving. So for that we have a few techniques. Mm. So technique which I used is for the DOP. So we got one uh, simul cam uh, that is a N cam uh, mm. from the data. But the what is shots. it? So, uh, it's called the N cam. Uh, what it does is like a uh, when you operate this live camera. Mm. So it actually connects to the uh, CG world, which we create, like we already animated the CG tiger. No? Mm. So mm. it connects to the CG world. When you move this camera inside the CG world, the camera... So the CG world will also pan accordingly. Connect parallelly. It parallelly oh, okay. connects huh. to the live huh. So uh, the tiger, the animation, like suppose if you say, uh, 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 when director says the action, so we play the animation. So the tiger starts oh. moving. Oh. That animation actually combines with the live and DOP is able to see the, in the monitor, both together. With, wow. Live. On the yeah. shooting spot. Yeah. On the, on the shooting spot. Wow. So wow. that is one of the, uh, this is actually, it's not new here, but a new broad, okay. uh, like wow. if, it, if it, Jungle Book and all, they, they have already used that. But okay. for us, it's like a very expensive to bring oh. that, but we, we did some of the few shots like, uh, for uh, four days, five days, we use that. Can you name uh, some it, of the shots uh, that you did like that? Yeah. So the first where the tiger comes, or the not tiger, cheetah, when it's running and comes With, first, uh, starts, uh, uh, mauling that guy. No? Mm -hmm. So that one actually we use the, uh, uh, and then one uh, tiger uh, takes that and he throws away. Uh, uh, so, and then one uh, uh, deer comes and. And. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, not hand that uh, beginning where the DS comes and uh, mm -hmm. push in that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I think we have used nearly some six or seven shots we use for that. So, but that has become very expensive for us to keep going with that. Mm -hmm. Because they are, they are from Canada and uh, oh, they are keeping them so much time here and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, what director, this is for the cameraman mm -hmm. who he can able to operate. But the, what about the artist? Because mm -hmm. artists, they need to see that uh, what is mm -hmm. it. So for that, directors may uh, 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 had a very good idea about the uh, uh, how to simplify and give them like a, this is a night sequence. So what he mentioned is we can use the light, some kind of a LED light mm. where that uh, one LED strip. So you can actually keep the path of the um, tiger movement. Mm. So and then uh, uh, if you play, like if you say action, we have two things happens. One is that uh, animation will play where the tiger is moving and the other mm. one is the LED strip where we already programmed wow, earlier wow, the speed wow. of the tiger. So that, uh, I think uh, his name is uh, Prasad. He is from uh, uh, IIT. Uh, uh, so he is student. So he did that programming from the taking this, uh, our animation sequence and applying to the LED strip. So he also wow. plays that action happen. So that tiger, that LED strip moves uh, 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 on the path. So everybody knows that where the uh, uh, tiger is moving and how it's moving, where the animal wow. is moving. So this this is the simple technique which uh, 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 director is uh, like, uh, uh, it's an easy innovation. So mm. find out because we don't have that kind of a budget from the abroad. So this is like we can say. Coming up like with a, creative ways to. Creative ways to mm. all the uh, uh, things. So that is a one thing which really worked good. And he uh, suggested a few things like a RC cars, radio control cars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that we, we had a trained people and they came and uh, uh, they did, uh, we, we have nearly four or five radio control cars in the uh -huh. uh, It starts moving and people react to that. And I replaced that uh, radio control car with the animal. So and the then, radio uh, control car, I assume they were covered in green or blue. Uh, no, that is very small, but we have a one uh, rod and put a plus mark there. So when so, it's moving, oh, everybody oh, knows that there is a oh, one. That's uh, where you have to animate. Uh, uh, right? And people, mainly for more than for me to animate, that people has to react to that. Uh, so then uh, they, they, will, they will move away. They know that that animal is coming, so they can react to that. So that is a one technique. And we used even uh, some uh, dog, all session dog, just leave oh. the dog. <laughs> <We replaced it. laughs> Also, it's a, we can see some natural reactions. To the, of course, it's a very trying yeah. one, and you throw the ball, and it, it, it doesn't know anything. It's only ball, so it just goes very fast. So that is a, some of the things. Th these are the things which director is very keen on. Like 
make things all the uh, uh, action actors should mm. react well. So only then when we add CG, it's like a combination of everybody's effort. Mm. It's not like it's a so people are saying some CG is good, yes, but it's a combination of all the other crafts also they supported to get these things. If the interaction is not correct or mm. the is not understanding and if it's not, if you move wrongly, mm. in, in, all these things go bad. So. Those things, it's uh, worked out well. And uh, we have some sequence actually we deleted, in the, especially in the animal sequence. We have uh, oh. bear, bear, ah. uh, the bear, bear actually, uh, we did the previous, we didn't even shoot. So we okay. did the previous, bear goes into the one gallery and uh, there is a, uh, it opens and shouts in front of the one uh, um, hmm. all where the, uh, the cap will goes off. And it's very interesting ah. thing. Uh, oh, but uh, uh, unfortunately, the duration is uh, uh, less, so we, we didn't execute that sequence. For the bear one, we, we have a blue suit guy because bear oh, moves in the very slow. Hmm. So Human. we have a blue suit guy there. Uh, you remember that one uh, first time that one bear comes and this guy uh, shoots and bear comes. So oh. that sequence, we have a uh, blue, blue suit guy is there. So okay. th these are the, all the techniques which we use to get the things uh, uh, believable. Okay. So that the, the, that kind of so much effort being put behind. Of course, artist, uh, if you see Tarak and Charan, it's like a, mm. uh, this night sequence, uh, the water is uh, one of the main thing. Uh, mm. Other side is a fire. This night sequence, actually, Raj Mulis also mentioned in a lot of interviews that, so how uh, Tarak, like we put a lot of uh, 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 inconvenient situations, like where that is a night time is like a, uh, uh, cold weather and mm. water is shivering and uh, uh. it's very, very dedicated people. I can say that the way the actors both they uh, presented themselves with a lot of dedication. That's where I think we see the results. With the, uh, what we saw the result is like a lot of people's dedication. Wow. So were there any other sequences that didn't make it to the final cut like from previous some crazy ideas that you guys had in mind but couldn't like did you some of it? the uh, but most of the actual actions are there but the mm. inside the action pieces some of the small small things like this bear sequence and mm. uh, in fact mm. one of the uh, small portion where uh, 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 end of the sequence in the interval the cheran uh, hits the one tiger Ah, yeah, so yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. The tiger is the beginning. Initially, the tiger actually, uh, uh, now in the at present cut, it's like a tiger straight away it comes towards the mm. children. But mm. initial, when we shot, we are actually Tarak, he takes the one uh, uh, car, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, uh, door. Uh, uh, door, door. Uh. Yeah, the tiger comes onto the Tarak and Tarak uh -huh. actually takes that and throws towards the Charan. Wow. So, yeah, that and then yeah. after that it comes. So in the sequence, it didn't work out. So I think that is a, a director's... It, uh, it sounds insane like an idea, actually. It sounds so yeah, cool. Yeah, so cool. That, that, that's, we even uh, uh, executed the uh, uh, shoot, uh -huh. shooting part. And we did even the previous, like uh -huh. post -wiz. So post -wiz lit after execution, we had a rough version of that. And then... Uh, uh, they have uh, some uh, uh, sequences for some things which uh, uh, they decided that uh, in the flow, so it didn't okay. work out. So um, then uh, th these are the small, small things like we have a, uh, that will be there in the overall for film. But mm. uh, uh, yeah, the sequences are there, uh, which will, uh, uh, we didn't come to the final thing, but we did for the post phase level. I think I saw a tweet uh, from you responding to a fan who was a film in US saying that that scene where Tarak is carrying Charan on his shoulders, that was one of the most difficult uh, sequences for you to work on. What went uh, behind that? Yeah, so it's a, uh, uh, initially our uh, idea is like a, uh, uh, we used to do the half uh, uh, portion of the, because it's carrying one person yeah. mm. on top of that weight and then mm -hmm. moving comfortably and then uh, uh, on, on the top person to move to different uh, Fle uh, flexibility it's also very, it's uh, very tough very tough uh, so uh, initial our idea is like a uh, top portion of the uh, we do the one dummy mm -hmm. dummy mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, chest level of the uh, charan sure. and then uh, 
uh, legs are, is going to be the dummy legs. So mm -hmm. then on top portion, we will be replacing with the digital. That's what our idea. Like uh -huh. Charan, totally. Uh, uh, so then uh, um, after when we have started working, such a way, we, we had a, a beautiful uh, uh, riggers, like a, how the action sequence designers. And so they were able to come up such a beautiful way to bring mm -hmm. them on top of that with the very comfortable way. I think mm. that I cannot reveal now. So maybe later, I think uh, uh, director himself will be talking okay. about this. Oh. So then uh, uh, finally for me, uh, uh, I, I don't need to require to do the digital version of uh, uh, Charan because mm. we did a lot of R&D for the doing the uh, Charan's uh, uh, full digital version. Uh, mm. to, uh, in the beginning of the film, actually, I took this uh, Tarak and Charan to mm. LA to uh, face scanning before mm. they grow its uh, beard and everything. Oh, to oh. Just prepare this uh, uh, digital version of this. So luckily, these two artists' dedication and the efforts, we couldn't. We don't. I don't need to do the any of the digital version. They mm. themselves did the entire action, and then uh, um, so they were able to come out this uh, uh, beautiful way to actually mm. uh, be on. That, but without any much uh, struggle so in that uh, that is a, one of the uh, uh, toughest part uh, to design get the things right so okay. for me as a visual effects wise uh, the main thing is that entire uh, uh, the solitary Prison. Prison. Uh -huh. is the only the center portion is the uh, uh, set remaining extension a lot of Creative. the wall uh -huh. is extension so when you see the top wide angle and uh, so a lot of extensions, uh, uh, extension work is there. Uh, and then of course, a lot of removing the, a lot of rig they mm -hmm. supported. Uh, so those rigs we need to remove and uh, do that. But basically that is a one of, and then we have one sequence where uh, in trailer also we have that they're both together. They jump. Uh, that jump. jump. Uh, so that obviously that we put it in the ground level and we did that and- uh, Tilted the, so, how was that done? Yeah, it's a, uh, we have a, uh, both artists, they did the entire uh, okay. action with uh. support. So mm -hmm. uh, the roof is not there, obviously, but roof we uh. created in, and they added light and then the roof Break, breaks. breaks uh, mm -hmm. uh, that entire thing is CG, the roof, roof okay. section is CG. Mm -hmm. And we, that is, the, we shot in the ground level with a blue screen. So I kept it on the uh, top, on top oh, of okay. that and did the wider, all the extension, entire extension is CG. So mm -hmm. it's uh, almost like a full CG shot, except that, uh, Artists, two actors, uh, two mm -hmm. actors, main actors. They are uh, 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 doing this uh, stunt. So yeah, that's, that is one of the advantage with these actors. I don't need to do a lot of digital uh, work, extension of the heroes. So they did themselves very good job. Okay. So one doubt I had while watching the film was uh, during the intermission sequence, we see Tarek uh, climbing up towards the. Uh, that uh, that they, that huge castle and we see him in a very long uh, wide angle we see him jumping from one floor to the other yeah. uh, how was yeah. that done because it's done in such a wide angle that you actually don't see Tarak. it's just a figure that obviously we know that it's him uh, yeah. was it uh, him or was it cg how was that done yeah, that uh, entire sequence the entire hmm. shot sorry not the entire shot what we hmm. saw Hmm. There is no live at all. Everything is easy, including the building, including the background uh, battle that uh, all wow. the sections. is happening. Everything is easy. That is done by Makuta, Makuta ah. Studios, uh, Hyderabad. So uh, beautiful job that way. So in that entire thing, even this uh, Tarak also. And Charan, Charan, uh, both of them. Uh, wow. The only one shot, the wide shot, what I'm talking about. That is yeah, 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 yeah. When they are when they are fighting on top of again? the mm -hmm. thing, only the small portion we put again on the ground. The entire, the, uh, even in the entire interval, mm. what you saw the the entire palace, the background, the everything palace. is. Connected. What we have is a one set where the pillars and the steps. And uh, uh, the in front of that we have a lawn. So uh, the lawn area is light. Actual lawn interaction area is light. Mm. And the uh, edge of the lawn there is a pillar, uh, the steps and the pillars. So mm. when you till that, that is a big live 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 gem. But where, whatever you are seeing, the wider and uh, in the, especially on top of the building, top of the building uh, palace and that mm. the entrance, all that 
in the CG extension. So wow. The entire it's the interval, same building. Uh, it's the same building that we see when Tara comes home for the first time in daylight. Exactly. Even in the day also, what we what we see is that uh, the uh, the center lawn area. What he see in that uh, ah. uh, side statues. Those all are live. But ah. when you see in the uh, building wider, yeah, shot, yeah, yeah. The center portion of the building is live. But from the wider portion, entire thing. Wow. Did, uh, extension. Wow. Yeah, that's wow. why you see that a uh, lot of things you won't even notice that. Uh, yeah. Exactly. I thought only visit. Tarak. Only that image of Tarak and Charan. In wide angle, I thought that was just CJ. I didn't know that the entire thing was. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow! So, uh, tell me about the climax. It, it was shot yeah, in climax is again. Yeah, climax. Uh, obviously, we cannot shoot that in the forest. Of the actual lot. forest, uh, no, you can't. Uh. Forest. So we did again small set. The, we have a set, and where mm. the uh, we have a uh, what is it? Uh, the trunks and all the sabus are designed to mm. the beautiful. Uh, uh, believability of the close-ups, all the tree trunks and the mm. uh, leaves, uh, foreground, that interaction area. We have around, I think, uh, uh, 150 feet, uh, uh, no, yeah, 150 feet width of that, and then uh, around 100 feet that huge uh, area. We put the actual forest set and mm. behind blue screen. So mm. from there, whatever you see, the background, everything, all the wider shot forest is entered in CG, mm. and then. Uh, uh, where the blast happens, that we did outdoor. Outdoor, we have okay. a hmm. picture of the city, so that we have a small portion where the, um, uh, and we extended the all the trees and uh, we covered with the, because there is a open uh, trees. They, it's not like a forest. So hmm. we added all the forest feel in the outdoor where the blast hmm. is happening. So it's a combination of, and then uh, uh, this sequence actually, we did the first post viz version. Post viz means after we finished the, uh, editing so then it comes to uh, uh, us like a bfx so we hmm. add a portion of that how the extension how the actors and the arrows adding the things hmm. and all the things we do the uh, rough version and hmm. then we send the uh, uh, edit and then uh, uh, from there it goes to the caravan is to just do the oh, okay. overall, hmm. uh, so this particular sequence uh, uh, one thing what happened is like uh, after he finished the uh, uh, he did the first version of the uh, Kervani Sir did the music for the first version. Hmm. Then the prospect to what I felt before that and after that is totally different. So what happened? He added that he gave the flavor that it's a more like a mythological like a mm -hmm. rock. Mm -hmm. and it's yeah. like a, totally went into the uh, it's like a visual is here and the music is like yeah, somewhere. Yeah. So then I, uh, like uh, four or five days, it's like I was like very, um, uh, I don't know what to do. Because in a like, trance. Yeah, in a trance. It's like we need to do something to get that visual. Yeah. Previously, I was like a more into realistic. Like a, we don't uh, want to add. Now we have to match up to that that mythological uh, epicness yeah, of the home. Previously, it was like a, like a very subtle. I don't want to mm. go extreme. But mm. after seeing mm. that uh, uh, music, what he gave, Hmm. Then I really no. It has to be surrealistic. You okay. Okay. The natural field. And and so which scene is this that you are talking about? Climax. It's a climax where the okay. uh, uh, especially after Charan become Alur Sita Alur Sita Sita Ramana, Ramana. from hmm. that getup from the okay. get where the entire uh, he uh -huh. uh, uses a fire. So hmm. he, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that arrow uh, goes and it lifts up uh, the forest. Uh -huh. Yeah, the entire fire. That yeah. fire. Is like uh, uh, I went into the initially very little bit realistic way, but oh, then okay. after seeing this new re-recording, then uh, uh, I went into the extreme. Like six days, I sat with the Makuta. This also is done by Makuta Studios. Ah. So in Makuta, and we did a lot of uh, uh, exaggeration how we can bring, and we added that foreground embers, the mm. all the fire embers. That actually director initially in the first discussion he mentioned that. He showed us one animation version, one clip where mm. it has a lot of colors, and so mm. that fire embers we uh, added in this, and then it become like a more uh, matching to that what Kiravani sir gave. Kiran, uh, yeah. Yeah. So that uh, it went, even though it looks very surrealistic, and that it's uh, matching that feel of the uh, uh, elevation of that Alur Sita Ramras, and then being Kumram that 
the water in minutes comes in yeah, it's all yeah. worked out very well the climax uh, portion now uh, how would you coordinate with uh, mr sendil kumar and uh, mr sabu sirl of course because uh, mr sabu sirl is a production designer and you have to be in sync with him about which part is will be actually created and how much of it will be uh, uh, created uh, uh, through computer uh, generated imagery and when it comes to cinematography it has to be very important what kind of angles he uses because if he is going for a side angle then your animation has to your vfx has to look in that angle right so you have to be in alignment with the production designer and the cinematographer as well tell me about how that collaboration was like would all of you three jam together and come up with ideas how was that yeah it's a uh, uh, as i mentioned this is like a uh, we have a core team that uh, mm. uh, after the script is ready that is the director and mm. uh, uh, sabu sir and sandil and uh, myself and these are the execution time we are the main core key people so we have a groups so how to uh, like hod is uh, mm. so the process is like first when it starts with the after the narration direct narration how i break down the visual effects breakdown like mm. this is what and the same thing happens for the uh, uh, sabu sir and even sandil so they they all prepare their own version of like how they, their side of preparation so mm. in the vfx side the my work is like so first whatever director he has in mind it has to be in the paper like a paper means like a concept mm, like yeah, sometimes yeah. Sometimes, sometimes uh, if there is no reference, I'll put it. Uh, we'll make it as a. We have a concept artist. We'll ask him to make as a concept in his vision, and mm-hmm. then from the uh, 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 like you take the uh, example of uh, uh, Tarak first time uh, of interval, he comes with a lot of animals. First, yeah, uh, yeah. So that is amazing the, shot. That's easily like, my favorite shot in the film. Exactly. For, yeah, I stood that, up in theater and clapped for that shot. that side yes. angle where he is jumping yeah amazing shot yes thank you yeah, yeah. so that one uh, so the the entire sequence actually when he narrated after he narrated but the first thing before narrating his visual is that uh, one of the our concept artists pratik did that one visual where that is a one profile job where that everybody comes out uh, mm-hmm. all the animals uh, he comes out so that is a one shot we have a visual for the entire sequence So wow. it's all started with that shot, that image, that visual, that one frame. Ah uh-huh. ha. So that one frame. Then we know what all the things to execute. So that is the concept. And then, we, uh, as director mentioned, that we need to do the entire animations earlier because of the t- speed yeah, issues. Yeah. Hmm. So then my job is to first find out the all the uh, actions like a beat, beats, like what is ha- happen when the actual after the animals landing. how they spread and how the tarak is acting and everything we have a rough beat beats uh, like this he has to do that and he has to scare the animals because they comes towards him and because animals doesn't know who is mm. the mm-hmm. they comes towards yeah he is fire fire uh-huh. like them and send them towards other side so mm. all this beats we have directors given on that all the beats in the written so that we start actually putting into the action for me to uh sit on the with the uh, main thing is to do the animation mm. all these things whatever in the beats paper we do animation so mm. after the animation while the animation is happening so uh, yeah it, almost like uh, the action is ready like in mm. the top angle we see that entire action whatever we want it is there so mm. director approves the action uh, mm. then we uh, send the uh, he actually takes the uh, divides the shots like uh, before going to the shoot this what i'm talking is it's all happen in the 3d world hmm. pre visualization so after this entire thing is ready so sendil actually t- uh, uh, he do the short breakdown like hmm. a, this camera angles he blocks the camera so ah, ah, ah. so that short breakdown and then that goes to the editor and uh, editor actually do the editing and then we know that what we want for the actual final output in the digital before going into the shoot so in the 3d animation we know entirely what we want uh, that camera angles also it's like a very accurate it actually matches with the light so when mm. we are doing the 3d animation we actually matches with the live set what we we are going to put 
so that is where the sabu sir comes in sabu sir oh, okay, okay. comes in that okay i have a rough idea of this is the set what what uh, the, uh, the basically that lawn area no that lawn area we have this is the design so he parallelly do the the land uh, lawn area design and how the people and how the uh, 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 seating of that all the arrangements because that is happening in uh, the scot is coming and that fest like a they're uh, celebrating that uh, scot feast feast uh, we should tell yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so that that kind of uh, 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 how the arrangement seat arrangements how the soldier stands all that arrangements everything sabu sir parallelly he did the he worked with the concept artist and they given the this is what i want as a palace and how, the lighting of the how the it looks again concept level again we also all four will be involving into the concept level all four will be involving in the uh, camera blocking level all four will be involving in the animation where we have my my department so after everything is ready then actual execution then i'll tell okay this particular area where the interaction is there that i need to put set definitely that we cannot do it in cg mm-hmm. remaining everything we can do it in a uh, uh, extension cg extension so each shot by shot we go with that and then action uh, parallelly this has a lot of action sequence so we have a uh, action director salman so mm-hmm. he he did a lot of action choreography so mm-hmm. he also parallelly do the but for him the action is like a more like a he designed the action with his cell phone he he shot the entire action with the people roughly jumping it's like we will call it a stunt wiz hmm okay that all stunt visualization stunt visualization hmm. uh, like how we do the pre visualization in the animation uh-huh. he do the stunt visualization with the rough uh, uh, his assistants and his fighters so he do that and that also director will give lot of ideas and lot of corrections in that that also will come into the editing so final act sequence we have all this some stunt wiz shots some previous shots some just live uh, they do if it's any performance oriented the uh, director will do the test shoot with the uh, his assistants hmm. director they perform that so roughly so those shots so all the full whatever we are going to shoot everything is going to be there uh, uh, there in the edit before going to the actual uh, shooting so then we decide like which portion is like a live which portion is a, a cg and then that is a my role to define what is the things and when we are executing how how we need to execute we need to execute in the layers like i don't need all the layers i need this particular the separate layer so i'll inform them this is what the, so it's like all four together we'll have a execution plan for the each shot then we go and execute that, that is what the entire process uh, it's a collaboration of all the departments all the four departments wonderful so uh, you said in an interview that uh, the vfx for triple r were done by nearly 18 studios 18 yeah. studios tell me was it at any point did it get frustrating for you with the sheer magnanimity of the project and how much you had to keep in uh, just to you know make sure that everything is in place i'm sure you must be talking to a lot of people a lot of uh, things happening at the same time and more than the coordination and everything you have to achieve that vision also right you have one vision and you have to you have to deliver it to mr ss rajamouli also so, so there is that pressure also did it at any point did you felt oh my god this is this is frustrating did you ever feel that no definitely it won't because okay. that uh, every day when we are working uh, our energy is that when we start whatever the director first we always uh, for me i always remember the what first director says when he narrates Mm. that is what but after that things will go move forward but the freshness everything what director wants is actual true want is that mm. after that because of the situations he will have a lot of other things so he might not describe in depth like what he described earlier so some so a lot of things will change but i always remember the first narration what he gave so his narration is like very very clear he is a very good narrator so uh, the that is a feel i always got that is a vision that time whatever it is in a vision that's what we always go for it so and we know what we are doing so every shot every every sequence when we are started working on 
one shot when it's coming out we exit every day which like a, uh, what i can say is like a, you guys watching three hours movie and three hours excitement for us three and of hours is the excitement wow wow yeah because that's what uh, that's what we love that, that is what we we are there. we thinks okay uh, when director say this is it has come out well that is where i am like in the cloud uh, nine cloud, that kind of a situation because that's what the what we are aiming for and because his vision if i am able to reach his vision that's every department every department has that so that is what every day we try to uh, like uh, uh, do the things like when when we given to uh, some of the artists like each one they contribute it's not only me every artist who are working in this every department they are all allowed to work because they they are not working for money i i i know i can see a lot of there are a lot of categories it's like if you say top categories like a hods and then assistant uh, hods they i am sure then most of the people they are not for money okay. they are all for the passion daily uh, after that next level where the shooting spot they come light men and uh, or some of the uh, things like equipment and the operators they are mainly for the daily they don't much worry about the uh, output film and the yeah. output they are like a, they just execute the whatever the his uh, top level guy uh, mm. come in level in the chain who mm. whatever the, that guy the uh, chain of command what they will fulfill the command command. Yeah. but here it's for for this main people like uh, hods and the assistants mm-hmm. and all that then they are like a, they do with a passion we never frustrate a lot of lot of times we don't have that uh, uh, there are some kind of a uh, uh, instances especially for the uh, assistance level they they like to have a, some kind of uh, uh, disagreements between the things people and all uh-huh. that but that is a uh, very uh, that's a human it's like a lot of times it mm-hmm. happens but in hod levels we always find out those things and just split it off and mm. we never had that kind of things nowhere directors i, I never seen like director said okay this didn't work out you didn't do well i, I don't know i never heard anything mm. from the even shankar sir and uh, uh, even uh, uh, mm. rajmohan they never they, they never do that because they they know we are working very honest and we know things will happen and it's all like a that is i think a leadership quality and stuff telling that you do wrong or you do so if something happen okay this is something genuinely problem i need to involve and correct it so that is what it happens so for me the main thing is i have a very good assistants mm-hmm. like i have a four assistants and uh, uh, one the chiranjeevi and uh, uh, he takes care of the entire uh, uh, coordination part and i have a funny he is a uh, visual effects supervisor assistant so he is on the sets like in the everything okay. make sure that all the things are happening the set and then uh, i have uh, one more uh, uh, siddu he is actually taking care of all the data management and everything okay. and harsha he takes all the edits and cross check all the edit side mm-hmm. and of course on top of us we have a, a post production supervisor valli ma'am she is a, mm-hmm. a, a, a sri valli so she yeah. she takes care of the entire uh, uh, all of us like under her so she uh, she is a post production supervisor so it, it, it's all goes in the very uh, mm. proper workflow and we don't have uh, 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 any feel like you are top and I, we are top it's all works like a family that is one of the best thing in the especially in rajmali sir uh, uh, this production we all like uh, uh, and even producer side uh, uh, uh dane sir it's like a, they they never have any of uh, uh, issues with this kind of uh, other things but all are like a family and that's that's what actually reflects in the final film no? so it's not like uh, if you start working with the pressure you never get you should work with the pressure that's what we all love to do that so uh, all the other things what we saw here it's a uh, uh, coordination and the uh, uh, quality output and everything because of the we love working that's what the output has come lovely lovely is there one shot or one sequence that that satisfied you the most in triple r 
Everything. So there is no one. Yeah, obviously, because that's what I told you. Know, when we, we never leave even one shot to maximum our level best. So in the in the execution, we have a little difficulties where the pandemic time. Of course, it's not for me. It's like all the world. Everyone has a, similar issues. So uh, that that see what we always do is like a, we have a lot of limitation when compared to the Hollywood, like money wise. Yeah. And mainly yeah. money. So there they have a like a nearly 3,000, 4,000 crores kind of budgets and uh, mainly they spend 50% of the film, 50% of mm. the budget to uh, VFX. Mm. But here we don't have that kind of luxury. So even though we are doing this big film, but still our VFX percentage is like a maximum 25%, not even 20% 20, 20 of the entire, not even 20, mm. it's less than so that kind of percentage for the VFX. So uh, obviously I need to work very differently to get the things in the budget. Mm -hmm. So we cannot, so that one good thing is with uh, uh, working with uh, uh, known directors. So they understand the visual effects and the limitation of the budget. So uh, that's where they try to uh, understand whatever I say, there is a limitation. They actually change in the script level. They change in the conflict level. They change in the execution. Instead of putting complex shots, if, that's, if that is not required, they'll simplify the shot based on the budget. So mm. that, that is a, one of the beautiful uh, 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 thing to understand. Like uh, if you see, I'm working with him with the uh, Bahubali uh, after mm. this second. And if you see Sankasara, I was like, I worked almost like a really... Six, Indian seven, is six. your first film. Wikipedia says that Indian is your... Uh, Indian, no, I didn't work in Indian. Somehow it's okay. uh, uh, Indian. Uh, uh, work. After that, uh, Boys with the Sankasar, Boys okay. is my first film. From the okay. Boys till uh, 2.0, now I'm mm. working with the... Uh, Isla, uh, Isla oh. film also. So, uh, uh, all his films and uh, uh, that relation what we have it's something uh, even with the Rajmal said you don't need to mention a lot of detail to me like he knows that whatever especially in this particular film I know he has a lot of uh, other responsibility because handling two big actors and the, getting the performances is like toughest he has to be fully involved on that mm. he doesn't should not involve so most of the time I didn't even disturb him in the sense of like if it's only necessary, I'll go with him, or go and request him for the things. Or else 90%, we will do it from our side, take care entire thing. Only it will go for the approval. But in Bahubali 1, it's totally different. Bahubali 1, ah. when we submit, like a, he was there in a the lot of details, like a, uh, every steps. But in this particular film, uh, this is like a, he has to concentrate on the main thing. Yeah, Even, yeah. A lot of times I, I'm, uh, I'm sure that he doesn't know a lot of things what we did in the background because he, he told he this, started. he told this, I was in a group interaction with him. And when the question about VFX came, Rajamali told that uh, I left everything to Mr. Srinivas Mohan. He used to do everything. And I used to just have a look at the final thing and that give the changes. one thing, because yeah. even I want to background as behind mm -hmm. Uh, invisible like how the VFX are there because <laughs> he has to concentrate in the uh, performance because this is a big responsibility for uh, uh, performance side so mm. that is the one thing which uh, uh, I'm sure that uh, I, I was able to achieve that definitely uh, without a doubt yeah, getting that, yeah getting that uh, give him that his space and uh, 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 because in India it's like very tough to uh, uh, get this kind of a uh, clarification and divisions so yeah. uh, that way because we have a lot of understanding from the previous film so mm. it's much easier to communicate and uh, I think this film is comfortably for him and for me and uh, all the other departments as well they they gave him a lot of space to concentrate on the performance and actual uh, things amazing sir amazing thank you very much for your time you, congrats you. for the film once again I loved your work congrats yeah. Thank you. Thank you.